The 45th edition of the best basketball conference tournament in the world. Four games today. We begin with the second ranked and top seeded Yukon Huskies taking on Xavier. So Capturing again a national title. And here we go. An extremely important first four minutes for Xavier to kind of establish how they want to play in a beautiful <laughs> move and patience. <laughs> Little that show time. and go, huh? It, it is, but dang on the front rim. But this is a Huskies team that when they play the way they played against Xavier in that last win as Usman, not Sean Miller's squad, could not write a script any better in the first four minutes. Hello, how do you do? Olivari Djokovic with a runner. Nice work on the offensive blast by the big fella. Yeah, good activity this time by Xavier. The little bit more active and quick to the punch and beautiful. How many times have we seen it, Tim? Where better start. For the upset-minded Musketeers, here's Spencer into the painted area. You're looking for one major yeah, I think that's what Dan Hurley was looking at with this substitution. He didn't like the body language from his starting five, and now he inputs fresh it. legs on the floor for the first time in this tournament. Yeah, great point, especially in the afternoon. Beautiful play. Now, see, that's where it's the recycle. Ham. Oh, he's going to get a third opportunity with a recycle. Caravan. So nine unanswered now. For that time, Xavier played pretty much on the perimeter again in transition. Perfect pass from Diara. Right to Johnson and the spin. And they're pitching a shutout now in the last four minutes. And Danny Hurley is getting what he wants now. 13 straight plus 11 since Johnson came in. And they're pitching a shutout now in the last four minutes. And Danny Hurley showing his ability to beat you off the bounce and finish inside. Claude counted on a foul. Namisha in there to provide a little. the pick and roll so well. All of our eight. Gives it up late. That's green up against the clock. Count it. Outstanding patience that time by Xavier. That time. Breeze, that's old school right really? there. Really? Really? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> old school right there. I love it, though. Oh, a nice little teardrop from Olivari. Go in early. Trust me, your confidence level will be high. Speaking of high, excellent dribble handoff play. They're going to force you to guard all of the real estate on the court. This will be a lot of movement off the ball. Beautiful pass inside the play again. And I think he got the memo while he yep. was on the bench. And they turned it on and never let up in the NCAA. He would know better than most, his dad. Yep. And good defense that time by Usman on Castle by going straight up in the air. And they were able to take oh. advantage of that defensive play in transition. Better than most, his dad. Yep. And good defense that time by Usman on Castle by going straight up in the air, and they were able to take oh. advantage of that defensive play in transition. And Xavier unable to take advantage of it. It slams him. Johnson. It's so tough to guard to not be able to take that away. Olivari. Oh, what a beautiful runner for Hunter and Fremantle. They needed him to step up the scoring responsibilities as Newton hits on a nice drive. Spencer, perpetual motion, gets that one to go. And once he sees it go through the net. In St. John's, you got to win it out in order to erase all doubt. And erase all doubt that the maturity that he hasn't forced the offense. And speaking of forcing this Tristan Newton, wow. this dissecting. The defense, that's a two-man game, two guards in the butt this. I did, last week, I did the USC game with Bobby and then right. the UConn game with Danny back-to-back. -back. Right, Spencer with a big three. Let's see if they can answer here as we go to break. McKnight into in with a fadeaway. Oh, the iron kind. Run. Yes, there. Xavier is down one. But to be able to cap it off at the end of the half, you talk about McKnight finding his rhythm. Yeah. Those by nature, Xavier is not. But I thought in the first half, they imposed a little bit more physicality, which allowed them. He's been scoreless in the last 12 minutes. And here's a run out. Newton off the block shot. A quick bucket. And the Huskies out. 
Castle, no one there. Usman came late. And I think Sean Miller's and they're calling on their defense now as Caravan drives. Dominate the paint, get to the free throw line, and get some easier opportunity. So we talked about it. All four UConn's field goals in the paint, and a much welcome sign. He had uh, too much room to keep from shooting that shot as Castle takes it inside, uses his body, hit the pilfer, but Spencer off the curl. Oh, Newton! A flying Walinda in the lane. Does some, does some little things, a little Newton sign by Xavier. Numbers, Green, rejected. Time by Xavier. Numbers, Green, rejected. And then on defense, Green must not have read the memo that. Two turns in their last three possessions, UConn, and Oliveri cashing in. They draw to within five again. Then cut into this, and that's a tough pass inside Ooh. to Lincoln. And a deep ball from Newton. The late break. Newton lobbing again. Slamson strikes again. What the Mr. Break. A classic case of what makes UConn so tough to beat. Nine minutes a game, happy now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Newton lobs. Klingon in traffic. Yes, and a foul. Djokovic on his hip will pick it up. Here it is again. Alley oop, a little strong and beautiful adjustment by Klingon to go reversal. Fouls to give. Spencer back to Klingon. High low, Spencer into Klingon. Drop step, hello. And, and, you know, let me say that. Ooh, what a cut! And another pass! And another dunk from Klingon. Not a gap open. When you thought, Xavier, you had a clear lane. Oh, like that. are they a machine? Castle takes it to the top. Look at this movement. Now you're going to the weak side. Claude does a good job of cutting Stefan Castle. This Xavier team is poised to be very competitive. Oh, beautiful pass wow. once again. And, you know, not letting off. Freshman got thrown into the fire. They've learned to play real time situations, which Indeed. will help them ultimately next year right absolutely 75 to 40 trail 10 to nothing and then it was yukon 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 <laughs> 29 assists most they've ever had in a big east tournament game so the huskies advance to the semifinals tomorrow. They'll await the winner of our final quarterfinal game of the afternoon session between the Johnnies and the Hall.